I'm Michelle Avisar Whiting, editor in chief at Research Square. We are a preprint platform that focuses on improving the way science is shared and bringing transparency to peer review. It's peer review week, so let's talk about the role of preprints in transforming and elevating trust in peer review. 2020 will be known as the year a new virus brought the world to its knees. I am currently recording this video with my laptop balanced on my kitchen trash can, which is as 2020 as it gets. This year has changed everything, including how we communicate research. Since the pandemic started, preprints have been on a meteoric rise. So what does public sharing of research before peer review mean for the future of peer review? Well, preprints create an opportunity to decouple the review of a manuscript from its publication at a journal. They allow independent reviews to be attached to the work itself, ideally in a way that's also publicly accessible. The concept of independent peer review isn't new, but preprints are really going to allow it to gain traction. Preprint review has the potential to reduce redundant efforts between journals while also adding important context for readers. What are the shortcomings of the study? Are the conclusions reasonable? Were these criticisms addressed by the author? This is context that most published articles are lacking. Preprints also are understood to be works in progress, so new versions can be posted in response to feedback. A huge amount of effort goes into a solid review, so making that effort visible and showing how it improves the work should foster trust in the peer review process. The journal agnostic nature of a preprint review means that a reviewer can focus on the science and a paper's contribution to the field without getting hung up on scope or arbitrary measures of impact. The great news is the shift is already happening. Formally, it's happening by way of organizations like Review Commons and Pre-Review, and more informally through commenting and through Twitter. Though admittedly, the latter can tend to be a little less Siskel and Ebert and more mystery science theater. At Research Square, we're applying what we've learned from our experience with independent peer review to our own platform. It'll allow researchers to submit reviews on their own terms in a way that's flexible and limited to their precise qualifications. I think the normalization of preprint review is a critical step toward merit-based recognition, a step away from impact factors as the ultimate determinant of a study's value. And it's a giant leap toward unprecedented transparency and efficiency in scholarly communication. Thank you.